Should I sing a Lionel Richie song? Maybe in the future. So here we are again. First, did you know the average one ounce pour of 43% or 86 proof whiskey contains only 70 calories? Take that, Guinness, which has 125 calories. So whiskey has more buzz for your weight loss plans? Just saying, by the way, I love me some Guinness, a great beer. It's WTF. Whiskey, today's fact, seemed like a good idea to spend a moment in reflection regarding the other major types of whiskey. I mean, we're familiar with Scott's whiskey, right? I mean, here we are. But there are other types, like Irish whiskey. Like Scott's whiskey, Irish whiskey has the three-year minimum process, all in Ireland. Little to no peat used, crippled distilled. Irish whiskey often has a very smooth finish especially due to the lack of peat in the process. One old Jameson advertisement said, scotch without the smoke. Bourbon whiskey, an American product, must be made from at least 51% fermented corn and aged in new charred oak barrels. Due to fermentation in new charred oak, bourbon often presents with a sweet and vanilla profile. Tennessee whiskey, another American product, right? I mean, Tennessee. You know. I wish the Tennessee Titans football team, when they entered the NFL and were searching for a name, had chosen to be the Tennessee Tuxedos. <laughs> they didn't listen to me. Anyway, Tennessee whiskey can be anywhere from 51% to 79% fermented corn and must spend time resting in charcoal made from maple wood before it's cast in oak for age. This is known as the Lincoln County process. Tennessee whiskey is considered even sweeter than bourbon. Rye whiskey. This is a North American product and must contain at least 41% fermented rye and is aged in new charred oak barrels. Rye whiskey, unlike some of its cousins, must age for only two years, but can age for much longer. Rye is often connected to Canadian distilleries, but there are many American distilleries producing rye as well. Canadian whiskey often uses a blend of rye and corn to produce their spirit and must be aged in virgin casks for at least three years, resulting in a lighter and sweeter whiskey than many of its American counterparts. And finally, Japanese whiskey. The Japanese process is built around the scotch process, and the whiskeys produced in Japan are known to have very similar flavor profiles and distillation rules like scotch whiskey. They produce both blends and single malts and also produce unique finishes as well, such as finishing in a plum wine cask. Yeah, I know there are French, Welsh, English, Indian, Danish, German, but that's for another day. And that's whiskey, today's fact, the water of life.